Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read a stem and leaf plot. Specifically, we're going to take a look at an example with two digit numbers. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way to organize and display data. They may look kind of confusing at first, but once you know what you're looking at and how everything is set up, they are fairly simple to read and understand. Let's jump into our example where we have a stem and leaf plot displaying the ages of the students in, let's say, an evening cooking class. So when working with stem and leaf plots, every value is split into a stem and a leaf. So these ages are going to be split. So here are all of the stems, and then here are all of the leaves. The stems are on the left, and the leaves are on the right. Now what do those stems represent, and what do those leaves represent? Well, let's look at this key right here, and this will tell us. Stem and leaf plots can include two-digit numbers, three-digit numbers, decimals, whatever the case may be. So the key will tell us what we're looking at. This key says that a stem of two, so stem on the left, and a leaf of three, leaf on the right, equals 23. And we have a label of years here since we are working with ages. So that tells us that the stems represent the tens place, the tens digit. And the leaves represent the ones place, the ones digit. So up here for number one, what do the stems represent? Well, again, the tens place, the tens digit. And then what do the leaves represent? Well, the ones place, the ones digit. So looking at the stems, we have two, three, four, and five. So we have the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. Think of the stems like this. The stem of two is in the tens place, and then the leaves will be in the ones place. That's the 20s. And then we have the 30s. So a stem of three, and then the leaves in the ones place. Then we have the stem of four, with the leaves in the ones place, and then the stem of five with the leaves in the ones place. So the leaves will be the ones place. They will fill the ones digits here. Let's put this all together here and look at the stem of two. So if we have the stem of two, let's move over to the leaves where we have zero, three, and seven. Zero, three, and seven. Now, if we put the stem and those leaves together, we have 20, 23, and 27. So those are all of the ages in the 20s. And looking at the stem and leaf plot, we have a 20s group, a 30s group, a 40s group, a 50s group. So everything is organized. Let's move on to number three, where we have a stem of three, and a leaf of seven. So what does this equal? And if we look at the stem and leaf plot, stem of three, leaf of seven. Well, let's put that stem and leaf together. The three is going to be in the tens place, and then the seven is going to be in the ones place. So that gives us 37. So again, just putting that stem of three together with that leaf of seven, and that gave us 37. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we need to list all of the ages in the 40s. So let's take a look at the stem of four and then these leaves. So let's put that stem together with all of those leaves. So let's start with 41, then we have 44, then we have 46, then 47, another 47, and then we end with 49. So those are all of the ages in the 40s. So there you have it. There's how to read a stem and leaf plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, 
Peace.